What's up, my car maniacs out there? This is Carcamo, the forger of pain. Los Angeles, California, baby. E3 2016, once again, bringing you the live, well, not live, but the coverage. And I'm here at the Xbox press conference. I'm going to tell you my impressions. I'm going to try to be quick because there's a lot to cover. And I have to say this. I remember like a few years ago, well, like two or three years ago, where everything was sports, 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 sports. I don't know if you remember that, but here it was all about gaming. And I think like this is the best press conference Xbox has had like in the past three years and kudos for that guys, okay? They jump right in with the Xbox S, the Xbox Slim, that it's gonna be $299 on August. They gave us an exact date, but yeah, it seemed pretty cool. It's like a white model. And after that, Gears of War 4. Yes, I know that wasn't like that was a no-brainer. That wasn't like a big rumor. It was coming. We were all expecting that. And uh, so the story is about this girl. So I did my best to hear everything, but you know it's kind of hard. But this girl, they kidnapped their mom, and she was like, "You kidnapped my mom. You're all gonna die." Uh, it's impressive, man. We're in the this current generation of consoles. You can't praise the graphics enough. The details, the shadows, the lighting, uh, the textures, everything looked amazing. A lot of cinematic moments, if you will, like everything was crumbling, the explosions. This, uh, there was this new weapon, like uh, it fired like saw blades, and you you saw like, uh, no pun intended, you saw the saw blade, and um, the monster was like cutting their limbs and stuff like that. That gameplay actual gameplay trailer ended with a gigantic monster and just when you thought everything was over Marcus Phoenix pops off with a beard and everything and well the guy's back so Gears of War freaking awesome if you're a fan and I'm sure you are because you know Gears of War that's like the current generation Contra and like mature uh, we got the elite Xbox Gears of War controller and it was you know I love red because, you know, look at my eyes. So yeah, it was red, it was clawed, covered in blood. It was excellent, I'm getting that because I don't own an Elite controller, and for me, it's a good way to start. Killer Instinct, everything was Gears of War related, themed at the beginning of the conference, and we get a new guest character, General Ram, and this guy was like huge. He can compete with the, you know, Gargoyles and all that colossal. Hey guys, Idol, please remember Idol. So uh, it finished with he stabbing Jago, and you know Jago just ugh, we didn't we didn't see like the ultra combo, but I'm sure it's coming. Oh, it's gonna be free uh, for this week, so you can I don't know if you can get it like right now at this moment, but surely enough this week you can play as Ram, you know, for the, the free trial. Forza Horizon 3, I'm not too into like, you know, racing simulators because I like racing games with more the arcade type, like Burnout and stuff like that. But, you know, I think I'm gonna get into Forza 2 because I can't praise the graphics enough. It looked amazing. Uh, also, it, it was a lot of like action-packed racing. I don't know how can I describe that. But, you know, they were racing and the helicopters went on top of them. Then a jet came by and, oh yeah, the Lamborghini was freaking amazing. And also, they're saying that it's going to be the biggest roster of, you know, brands and cars uh, in the history of Forza. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. And this game is going to be open world. You could see in the trailer, like, all the cars were, yeah, like, and you saw a lot of people. They say it's going to be easy to jump right in, and, oh, well, let's just hope and see. Uh, it's going to be available on September 27th. Record. We saw a little bit about this game last year, about a girl and her robot dog, if you will. Now she has, like, more companions. She has, like, a gorilla that's the brute. There's, like, this spider that you can, like, latch onto it and climb things and escape, it's the escape artist. Uh, there's not too many information we know about the game, but the gameplay looks, uh, you know, it, it has my interest, so yeah. A game that I have been expecting for a while, it's Final Fantasy XV, and they showed us more new gameplay. It's the Trial of the Titan, if I recall. The Trail of the Titan, and you can see this guy, that's, he looks kind of like um, squalish, cloud character I forget the name and he has his big ass sword overcompensating I guess and he's fighting this 
Um, the only way I can compare this is to God of War 3. Um, and imagine in those days, like the PlayStation 3, it looked amazing. Here, it looks, ah, it looks better. I've been talking about the graphics, but hey, just look at it. And, but I was a little disappointed because it was just like, you know, dodging and rolling, dodging and rolling. It wasn't that cinematic. I mean, it looked great when the Colossus or the Titan was with the arms like, but, you know, I was expecting more, like maybe the guy is stabbing his hand and climbing onto his shoulder. I don't know, something like that. And uh, by the end of it, it was, you know, it was kind of boring. I have to admit, uh, I was impressed by the graphics but not so much uh, because of the gameplay. So let's move on. This thing caught my attention. You have eight million ways, and I'm not kidding, that's what they said. You have eight million ways of customizing your Xbox controller. And yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. Uh, thank you, I guess. Do you guys like indie games? Because I sure do. And they gave us a list so I'm gonna do my best. And there was Cuphead. Oh, Cuphead, I'm waiting for that game. The New Outlies, Diver Moon, or something like that. The Calling, Beacon Raiders, Bloodstain, that's the spiritual successor of Castlevania. And Ukulele, the spiritual successor of Banjo Kazooie. My favorite moment of the press conference by far was when they presented this new IP called we happy few. And it reminded me to the movie Equilibrium. Oh, it's real. Burn it. And uh, yeah, it's something like that. It's about these people that they had to take a pill to be happy all the time. So this guy, he forgets it and he doesn't take it. But everybody's like onto him and they have this creepy mime face with this creepy smile. And it's also reminding me a little bit of Fallout 4 because this game it's on in the 60s so this happy pill if you will it's called joy and when the guy stops taking it he sees what it's actually happened at least that's what we think they're hitting a piñata and they're actually hitting a rat and they're eating like the candy but no they're drinking the blood so it's kind of screwed up but you know that's kind of my thing because i'm the forger of pain I've been playing The Witcher for some time now, and if you also play The Witcher, you know the game Gwent. Yes, The Witcher card game. Uh, it looks like they're making this into a standalone game. For the most part, I always skip this card mini games because, well, I'm not into it nowadays. Last time I played was on Final Fantasy VIII, the triple triad game, so yeah, I was addicted. But yes, let's stick into this subject so there's gonna be a beta exclusive for september uh, woohoo i guess more options to basically smash your tekken 7 is coming for 2017 and we saw a huge cinematic trailer well it wasn't a trailer and it was akuma versus hayashi they were kicking each other's ass and you didn't even notice when it was like cinematic or gameplay because the transition was so smooth and I can't wait to play this game because I'm into a Tekken a lot and I miss the good old days. Another rumor that was actually true was Dead Rising 4. Yes, Frank West is back and this time he is enjoying himself more than ever. There's killing zombies, taking selfies with the zombies, and it's happening in the holidays. Oh yes, it's Christmas Eve. You can tell by the music, the decorations, the zombie Christmas tree. Oh yeah, I can't wait to kick some zombie ass. <laughs> Another moment of the Xbox press conference was when Hideki Kamiya, the director of Devil May Cry and the acclaimed Resident Evil 4 presents Scalebound. Now this is what the guys that are making Final Fantasy 15 should be looking. This is the example that the guys of Square Enix working on Final Fantasy 15 should be looking. 
because Scalebound, they got the, like the big gigantic boss fights right. It's not like dodge and roll. And uh, really, it's cinematic. It's awesome. The camera. Also, the main character has like this cool attitude, just like Dante. You can tell Hideki Kamiya worked on this game. And I'm not just saying that because of the personality of the main character. Also, like you're fighting a gigantic spider-ish scorpion with three tails. And uh, yeah, not tail from Sonic. Zombie games, zombie games, zombie games. It's a genre that, at least for me, it doesn't get old. And we just saw Dead Rising 4, and let's go to State of Decay 2, which is the serious type of game with zombies, not like, you know, like the fun, over-the-top game. This is a survival, action pack, open world, online with your friends, uh, zombie game and it looks promising enough after a few years Halo Wars 2 is back I'm not too excited about this one but I always enjoy a good RTS game here are some good news I'm not entirely sure how this works but Phil Spencer said play without boundaries so you buy a game once on Xbox One or Windows 10 and you can play that game on both platforms. So I think Xbox, they're covering their tracks for, you know, the past DRM thingy they did a couple of years ago. But yes, they're on the right track. Now this is the way you wrap up a press conference with a new freaking damn console. And Xbox gave us Project Scorpio. Oh, well, I have some of the specs here. They are saying, they're bragging about, and for now, it sounds like that. This is the most powerful console ever. It has four game resolution, high fidelity VR, whatever the hell that means, and uh, six teraflops and eight GPU. So yeah, sorry, I was gonna say it in Spanish, that's why I'm confused. But Project Scorpio, it's coming on the holidays of 2017. And the other cool thing, and kudos to you, Xbox, is that you can play Project Scorpion games, Xbox One games, and the Xbox One S on the Project Scorpio. So that's great news, that's the best way to close a press conference. And hey, I gotta say, I'm impressed and I can't wait for all of those games. Literally, like, almost like 95% of the games they showed, I was interested, and I'm planning to get them because I'm a collector, and I'm a gamer, and I'm a seeky, and I'm the forger of pain. Guys, I want to thank you for watching my impressions for the Xbox press conference. Stay tuned to Karkumu Gaming because more's coming, and, you know, just show some love. Remember, I'm Karkumu, the forger of pain. Like or die.